Hey, hi, hello. <laughs> I am Moomin, um, and I wanted to do a video today on something that I think is very, very important for the recovery process, but is perhaps not highlighted enough, and that is the importance of listening. And I'll explain what I mean by that as I go along. So, as people who suffer from OCD, it is a very isolating experience and it is also a very confusing experience because we often don't understand what is happening with us we don't know what our thoughts mean where our feelings are coming from what our physical symptoms are so it becomes um so it becomes a very bad experience and it also creates this immense desire to be heard and to be understood so whenever we get the chance to do that, whether it's with a friend, whether it's with um, with family or with your therapist or your coach or within the OCD community, what we do is that we immediately start to vent and rant and um, narrate every single thing at length. Uh, and we keep going on and on about it. What that does is that it internalizes your focus on just you and it keeps you in that loop of going around your head about what's happening. And while the need to be understood is very important, because it makes for us feeling less alone, it's also important to do that very carefully and in moderation. So why does it need to be in moderation? Because it often does turn into reassurance seeking, um, confessing, and just a compulsion in itself to just narrate. Because, because we're so overwhelmed by what we are experiencing, we want immediate relief, immediate answers, uh, and immediate understanding. And we often we falsely believe that telling and narrating what's going on with us will bring us that relief so and that obviously never happens because we keep repeating that cycle and we all know that reassurance and confessing and any other kind of compulsion is something that fuels uh, anxiety so that's why it's important to notice that and try to cut that out whenever we can. And so because we are so addicted to comfort and we are so addicted to what's happening with us inside our own head that we narrate our stories and we narrate what's happening with us with the aim of being listened to rather than to listen in return. So that's where I come to the point that I want to highlight, which is the importance of listening. And by listening, I don't mean just hearing someone's feedback and just hearing them out. By listening, I mean to keenly, attentively, actively listen to what the other person has to say in return because that is the only way that we are going to educate ourselves on how OCD functions and what is needed for recovery and what we need to do in fact to recover. Um, we have to come in with an open mind when we are talking to somebody whether it's within the OCD community whether it's on the Facebook group if you're on there uh, whether you're on the WhatsApp group or you see a therapist or a coach regularly. Um, you really have to go in with an open mind to look at things from newer perspectives, to hear something that might make you very uncomfortable, to hear something you just might not like. So, I mean, someone might tell you to go do an exposure or face something uncomfortable and you might not like that, but it's still very, very important to listen to that because that will help you understand where the other person is coming from. 
it's also important to keep in mind that when you do listen to uh, someone's advice or um, someone's feedback or suggestions, it will not bring you immediate relief. It will not bring you an immediate uh, level of understanding and a new perspective. Don't go in that. Uh, don't go in with that intention you have to realize that especially as people who suffer from um, a disorder like OCD we have such set patterns of thinking and we are so set in our ways of behaving that a new way of doing things or thinking about things is something that will take time, that will take reinforcement and revision. So whether it's your therapist or whether it's someone within the OCD community or your coach, just first of all, listen to them. And then secondly, write those things down, Um, save those messages, whether it's screenshots, whether you want to take down um, certain notes in like in a notebook or something, because you will need to go over them over and over again to really get a deeper sense of meaning behind those words. Um, Nothing can be solved in this uh, in an instance. So so please remember that when you are trying to talk to someone and because with those false expectations, you will immediately end up feeling very hopeless and very, um, very frustrated with the entire process because you'll think that oh, I, I should have understood this, or even if I understand this, that means I should have had immediate relief. But that's not really how it works because you don't have to just listen once, you have to do that several times. And so the third part of this is that it's really, really important to apply those tools and concepts that you have been told um because unless and until you do not make that effort unless you do not apply those uh in practice there will not be any change and a, a lot of people do end up asking the same question over and over again um without showing signs of any change or shift or progress from the previous time they asked that question and that's because they never really listen to that uh, feedback in the first place. So no amount of narration will get you better. And while listening in itself is extremely important, the next step is to then put that to practical use as well. Because only you can make yourself better. No, No other person will or can make you better at all. Um, And that's something very important to remember because we often find comfort in just the advice that we receive or um, or the advice that in fact we sometimes even just give but but unless you don't take those steps yourself and move and try to move forward and face those fears and break down those irrational beliefs and perspectives um, the OCD cycle will keep going on so so in conclusion you've got to do this um and this video i hope you listen to this video um really listen to it and then also listen to it again at some point and and put it to good use because um because yeah that's how that's how it's supposed to go uh so i hope this really helps and i hope this gives you some push towards really making some incremental change and understanding that you really can move forward by interacting with other people and by listening to their advice but only if you truly pay attention to it and put that to use so um so yeah bye i'll see you guys soon with another video